we're testing a, uh, a spool of copper cable. So let's use the fluke tester to check the resistance value. And it's about four ohms. Now, we're gonna stop the fluke and uh, repeat the same test on, on the micro tester that we can develop. develop. So the, with the continuous testing, it's showing all pass and um, and the resistance also passing the resistance measurement. So so we're getting all green lights. We're testing a shorter uh, shorter spool of uh, CCA cable. Now let's check the resistance value with the fluke tester, and it's about nineteen close to twenty ohms. So this means. This spool uh, of cable can be used for PoE application, but uh, it's almost at the borderline value. Now let's verify this point with our cable tester. See, because this is a UTP uh, cable, so the ground is open but the other four pairs are showing green, so the resistance is okay, uh, according to the TIA EIS standard. Now we're testing a longer spool of CCA cable. Again, let's scan it with a fluke versus tester. So you can see the, the resistance, DC resistance value is about 28 ohms. Now, so 28 ohms is too high for uh, PoE application and it's not compliant with the uh, TIEIA standard. So let's verify this again with our cable tester. And you can see our cable tester is also indicating this cable has high resistance. 